started uh, fishing and looking for other plans that one of the quotes he got was actually a hundred percent higher than last year yes. wow. and so we, we delivered the message we delivered the petition uh, she made a copy of the gentleman's notes to give to Senator Brownback so you know and she had seen us from the window so that's pretty cool uh, so we wanted to let you all know that we did deliver everything and uh, we so much appreciate you being here. Please know, and because that we're here for the launch, I can't tell you who and where, but if you want to email me, I'll tell you about some other opportunities in Johnson County. Hi. Today we're here because uh, we're on Medicare uh -huh. and we see no reason why everybody should not be on Medicare uh, or similar single payer health plan. plan. It works great for us. Um, I had a letter to the editor of the Star this morning that told me I've had five surgeries in five years. I have Medicare and gap insurance and we paid a pittance for that. And I had excellent care and no waiting. No waiting. None of that bump that you hear. Right. So what do you think the uh, some of your hurdles are well, right now? I think my sign says if we bring the troops home, yeah. there'll be money for Medicare. So, you, so do you see that the war in Afghanistan and Iraq is just something that's preventing maybe progress on something like this? It's because preventing of everything. It yeah. is so horribly expensive. It's mm -hmm. prevented almost everything. It's created this horrible debt. The Bush years created the debt. Uh, people are saying Obama, but it was there long before he stepped into office. And um, we've cut back on services, social services, and help to people that um, that shouldn't have it, uh, mm -hmm. such as as health care. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we would cut out wars and all that expense, we would have so much money to use for our people, for ourselves. Right. What do you think uh, were the what what during the Bush years? What do you think were the cause of some of the deficits? Uh, war in Iraq, Afghanistan, uh, graft among th things like the contractors, Halliburton, mm -hmm. um, all of that stuff, just mm -hmm. and uh, oil. You know, always right. focusing on oil rather than um, substitutes, alternatives, and uh, all of that. And that kind of put us in the state we're in right now, Absolutely. you think? Yes, yes. Um, well, uh, I'm here because uh, I'm 59 years old, I'm a good American, and I have no insurance. Uh, in January, I was laid off. My company was too small to offer Cobra. What was offered to me was going to cost about $800 a month. Yeah. And if you're uninsured, I mean, if you're unemployed, you can't pay that. Right. And I've seen it over and over. Um, my sister had Lou Gehrig's disease. I saw the kind of medical bills that they compounded. Um, and on the other side of that coin, my father got very ill. And 
Medicare took good care of him. The health insurance companies only seem to want to take care of us. Or take care of us is not a good way to put it. They're, they want to insure us only as long as we're healthy. Right. And as soon as we begin to get ill or have problems, mm -hmm. they don't want to help us anymore. Right. Um, what they want to do is get us to 62 and push us off on Medicare. So I have seen Medicare work. My father was in the hospital for a week. And mm -hmm. between that and his supplement, I didn't have to pay anything. And they took good care of him as best they could. And I want so you, to see, you you like you would like some kind of Medicare program for? I I would like to see at the minimum a public option. Mm -hmm. um, I want to at least have the same options that right. my senators do. Um, and I, I, you know, it would be wonderful if we could have single payer, but I think right now. Um, the public option and what Obama has asked, I think, is very reasonable. So, do you think that uh, the Obama plan is uh, going to have any legs in any time soon? Uh, oh yes, it kind has of legs the, uh, now. What do you what, what do you think of the the, the original proposal that, that came out just recently about the costs and the the uh, coverage? The uh, cost, what, what is your opinion on that? Here's our situation. We have gotten to a point where, yes, the cost is going to be high. However, if we don't do something now, the cost is going to be worse. When if I go to if I go to the emergency room because I'm sick, you pay for it. Whoever has insurance, you pay for it. It, it does. Why not get control of that? Put it in a public option so that there is some control over that, it's some control over costs. Um, the other thing that is very vital is to get everything electronic, uh, to take care of 30% of healthcare costs are admin. And that has grown tremendously over the last 10 years. It's outrageous. Is there any privacy concerns with uh, an electronic system? Or? There are always privacy concerns, but if we have the technology to let our president carry a Blackberry, we have the technology to protect our medical records. Uh, I, uh, that's To me, that's so obvious. It's right. there. There will always be a threat. Mm -hmm. But you can't can I, live can I your ask life that, that question way. That, I, could, I could walk yeah. out in the street and get hit by a car today, <laughs> right. but I still need to cross the street. Can I ask a question as a veteran? Um, I'm curious. Uh, I, I remember watching the ABC program and uh, Obama saying that the VA system that we have is is ideal. Maybe that, those aren't his exact words, but uh, that was working. Do you think it, that's a honest ass assessment of the system? I'm honestly not familiar. Not I don't familiar. have enough knowledge of that to speak to it. Okay. I wish I could. Okay. I, I just figured because he was trying to say equate that with uh, what everyone should have, like uh, on that same, on par with that, I guess. Uh -huh. That's something I, I need to read up on. Okay. I can't, I can't speak to that. Okay.